Welcome to today's lesson on comparing fractions. Today you're going to learn how to compare fractions using a less than, equal to, or greater than sign. But before we can get started today, we need to review what less than, greater than, or equal to means. Let's start using whole numbers. If I tell you that the number 2 has a value that is less than the number 8, it means that it is a smaller number or you have less of it. And this symbol right here is the less than sign. Now the smaller part of the sign will be facing the smaller number. The larger part of the sign will be facing the larger number. What if we were to switch these around? We would say that 8 is greater than the number 2. So now the smaller part is still facing the number 2, we just flipped the sides. And the larger part of the symbol is still facing the larger number. But what happens if you have two numbers that are equal to each other? That's when we use the equal sign. 4 has an equal value to 4. So now that we've reviewed our less than, greater than, and equal sign, let's review fractions. What exactly is a fraction? A fraction is part of a whole. So if I have one-fourth of a piece of pizza, then that means that my pizza is split into four different pieces. You see, fractions are dividing. We're dividing our whole into four parts. All right, let's go ahead and let's start comparing. Let's begin comparing fractions today using the two fraction bars on the screen below. Our first fraction has two pieces in the whole, so that's going to be our denominator, and one of these two pieces is shaded in. So that means that we have a fraction of one half. Our second fraction has one piece shaded in, but now we have three pieces in the whole. So this fraction represents one third. Now I want you to notice that the larger your denominator is, the smaller your pieces are going to be, because you have more pieces in the whole. So if we were to compare one half and one third, we can see that one half is greater than one third. We can see that because our fraction bar shows that there's more shaded in than one third, but also because our denominator says that there's only two parts in the whole instead of three. And if our numerator is one, we know that one half is going to be greater than one third. But there's also another way that you can figure out how to compare two fractions. You can find an equivalent fraction so that you can make your denominators the same. And then you can just compare your numerators. So we're going to change our half and our third into sixths. So first we're going to split up both of our fraction bars. Now I want you to notice we did not change the amount of the fraction we had shaded in. We only changed the number of pieces in the whole. So now, as you can see, we have 1, 2, 3 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces in the whole. So 1 half has an equivalent fraction of 3 sixths. And we have 1, 2 pieces shaded in out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1 third is equal to 2 sixths. So now that we have the same number of pieces in the whole, we can compare our numerators. And now it's very clear to see that 3 sixths is greater than 2 sixths. Now you can also find equivalent fractions with common denominators by multiplying your numerator and your denominator by the same number to get your common denominator. So if we multiply 1 half times 3, 1 times 3 equals 3, and 2 times 3 equals 6. To get a common denominator of 6 when we're multiplying thirds, we're going to multiply our numerator and our denominator by 2. So 1 times 2 equals 2, and 3 times 2 equals 6. Let's go through a few practice problems together. Can you compare 1 third and 5 thirds? Well, let's go ahead and start by looking at our denominators. Since our denominators are both the same, that means we need to now compare our numerators and find which numerator is greater. 
Since 5 is greater than 1, that means that 1 third is less than 5 thirds. All right, let's go ahead and try another problem. Can you compare 3 fourths and 2 thirds? Well, notice our denominators are different. We don't have the same denominator. So we need to find a common denominator for these numbers. We can multiply our numerator and our denominator by 3 to get a common denominator of twelfths. So 3 times 3 equals 9, and 4 times 3 equals 12. Now we're going to take our other fraction, and we're going to multiply our numerator and our denominator by 4. And this is going to give us a common denominator of twelfths. 2 times 4 equals 8, and 3 times 4 equals 12. Now we can go ahead and compare our two fractions now that our denominators are the same. And as you can see, 9 twelfths is greater than 8 twelfths. But let's go ahead and let's check our work using visuals. So we have two fraction bars, one representing 2 thirds and one representing 3 fourths. Now visually, it does look like 3 fourths is greater than 2 thirds. But let's go ahead and let's find common denominators for these two fractions. If we split both of these fraction bars into twelfths, which is the common denominator that we found, we can see that 9 twelfths is greater than 8 twelfths. Let's go ahead and try one more practice problem together. Which number is greater, 1 fifth or 9 tenths? Now our denominators are different. However, if you look at our numerators, you can see that 9 tenths is pretty close to one whole, whereas 1 fifth is still 4 fifths away from one whole. So if we think about it logically, 9 tenths should be the greater number. But we need to check our work by finding a common denominator. So if we multiply our numerator and our denominator by 2, that's going to give us a common denominator of 10. And as you can see, 2 tenths is less than 9 tenths. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're comparing fractions, it's important to first look at the denominators that you're comparing. If the denominators are the same, then you can go ahead and compare your numerators. But if your denominators are different, you need to find a common denominator. Since fifths and tenths are different denominators, we need to find a common denominator. So if we multiply our numerator and our denominator for this fraction, two fifths, we can say 2 times 2 equals 4, and 5 times 2 equals 10. And now we have a common denominator of tenths. So when we're comparing 4 tenths to 7 tenths, and we have the same denominator, we can see that 7 tenths is going to be greater than 4 tenths.